OK, so here is a scaling triangle. I know an angle, an opposite side, uh, another side, and I want to find its opposite angle. So it makes sense that we want to use a sine rule. So sine of the angle x over 28.9 must be sine of 29 over 14.7. OK, so then rearranging that, you can say that sine x is 28.9 sine of 29 degrees over 14.7. OK, so um, inverse sine of that. Uh, sure, I'm actually writing it down correctly. 28.9 times sine of 29 over 14.7 gets me an angle of 72.388, etc. So 72.4 degrees to three significant figures. And that fits with the picture that I've drawn. The fact that it's uh, an acute angle, 72.4 degrees. Seems to make sense. However, that's not the only answer. Now, the problem is with the way that I've drawn the triangle, because it has led us to assume that the angle I'm finding is acute. But if I just said that you had, that it was a triangle, that had an angle of 29 degrees and an opposite, opposite side of 14.7, and it had this other side of 28.9, and it was the opposite angle that you wanted to find, that isn't actually enough to draw it. Because it, I could have drawn the triangle like this. There's my 29 degrees. There's the opposite side of 14.7 centimetres. There's that length of 28.9 centimetres, and I want to find the opposite angle. But the opposite angle is obtuse. Now, obviously, these two angles are not the same size. However, this angle here is perfectly acceptable as a solution to the problem. So. The problem here is that this angle and this angle, because those two sides are the same length, must both be 72.4 degrees to three significant figures. And so, if that's 72.4, I can work out this other angle by subtracting it from 180 degrees which is 107.6 degrees to one decimal place. OK, and that is a perfectly good solution to the problem as well. Now, you could envisage that as the two places where it cuts um, the uh, sine curve. OK, so thinking of, you know, uh, when we get there, we're not quite there yet with looking at the um, details of this, but there's your sine curve. That's uh, 180 degrees. So anything past that dotted line is an obtuse angle within that area. There's your acute angle. So the line that we're crossing, this one here, which is about 0 0.7 something, I think, okay, you're getting your one angle of 72.4 degrees. You're getting your other angle of 107.6 degrees. OK, so there are actually two solutions to this problem.